everyone. I now show commercial ads on my Roku TV channel. And now since I understand it better, I'm requesting more tags to show um, different, many different commercial ads, different topics. And I thought I'd create this short video to help you along if this is something that you plan to do in the future. I joined the Bedillion Advertising Program. I submitted my info. My TV channel qualified. I, I have a public Roku TV channel. And it's a lot of coupons.com Roku TV channel. And what I want to do is add some new category ads to my list and then request the proper, the right information. I'll get to that in a moment. This is the Internet Advertising Bureau standard list of content categories that make it easy for, for all the parties in the advertising <clears throat> ecosystem to work together. There had to be something, there had to be a main list that everyone has to use and follow. I want to, after I learned and I watched my own channel a couple of times, then I watched other people's channels, I said, you know, I, I don't need to limit myself to just the topic of my channel. Why can't I show car ads? I might not want to show all of these, but I already added automotive, and I'll show you that in a moment. Buying and selling cars. Right here. And... This is how I do it. The next one, I want to show ads of certified pre-owned automobiles. Well, most of the people I know drive. Why not show that on a commercial on my Roku TV channel? I typed in 37 there. That's line 37. I pasted that. and I'm going to paste that in this column 2. That's just the community of people. I decided to use the same description of the, the content this tag will be associated with because it gives them an idea what I'm what I'm requesting. Now on this um, column of the Excel, I need the Internet Advertising Bureau content category that I received that I grab from the list, the standard list. Now I need the code too. I copy and paste because there's less room for error. I'm going to put that there. And I already filled in video on demand because that's my channel. English, United States, 30 seconds or less. I don't want tobacco ads showing on my channel. So that's it with that. <clears throat> I also write this down on paper, and when I say this to my computer, I send it to several email accounts on three different platforms as a backup. So if I ever needed it again, I have it at my fingertips. I want to add electric vehicles. I feel that's the future. I'm very interested in that. So I would have to assume that other people are. I typed in 38, and then I click here. Line 38, excuse my voice, I'm a little hoarse. And now I need to grab the category code. Now, I want to fill in a few more ads. I'm going to go through this and there's an extensive list of categories. I just want to do it one more time, then I'm good to go for a long time to come. Because then you have to repackage your channel and resubmit it to Roku, and there's a process of, of improvement. So I just want to do it one more time. Once I understood it, I said, why not show this? This is a great video clip. I really understand what I'm doing. And when you get these codes... The content ID, 
to create the URLs that I submit into the Instant TV Channel program that I use. Oh, now I'm a little lost, guys. I have too many windows open. <clears throat> That's how it works. So I hope this video clip, clip helped you, helps you learn how to use what I'm using, you know, better than you did before. You have to read, do some studying, go through the motions <clears throat> to get better at what you want to do. It is possible to show commercial ads on your Roku TV channel.